Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumed YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the A Eagle N95 respirator model F100. We purchased these from Amazon and here is the listing. The back comes with 50 respirators for $59. This listing also has a 4.4 out of 5 rating with 1,711 reviews. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these respirators. So this is how they look. Because of the color and the print, you really aren't able to see what it says, but it does have all the N95 requirements, which are the manufacturer, the model, the TC approval number, along with the lot number, and the Niosh N95 stamp. So these are very thin and not the softest material. It's a pretty standard nose wire. It's a bit on the weaker side. These are a five ribbed headband. These tend to be a bit on the tighter side and not the most comfortable headbands, but we're gonna see how they fit on my face. So let's go and put it on. The first thing I'm gonna point out, and this is because it really caught me off guard, it has a very strong smell. It's like a latex uh, plastic smell. Like I said, the, the nose wire is a bit on the weaker side, but we're gonna try to adjust it to my nose bridge. I've had this issue with other respirators when it comes to the material. This also has this, that sort of itchy material around the face mask, so it's not the most comfortable. This lower headband is a bit on the looser side for me. It has a little bit of a collapse, but nothing too crazy. So with that being said, we're gonna see how these test on our TSI machine. We're gonna be testing both the filtration efficiency and the pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the respirator is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot milk glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on a TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 99.83% and had a pressure drop of 11.8 millimeters of water. Second sample had a filtration percentage of 99.72 and had a pressure drop of 10.5 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 99.73 and had a pressure drop of 10.6 millimeters of water. Overall, the construction quality was not the best. There's definitely room for improvement. I wouldn't really be able to use this respirator for a long period of time. It was mainly because, like I said, the material was very itchy, and I know that that sort of material is going to irritate my face. The pressure drop was around 11.8 millimeters of water, so in terms of breathability and filtration, you can't go wrong with these N95 respirators, and they are within the N95 standards. So I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what masks we should test next or if you would like to send any mask or respirator for us to test we're going to leave an address and further information in the description box also if you would like to see any other content please make sure to leave them in the comment section below please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in our next video